Hello. In this lesson, we are going to cover the writing in cursive of the last three letters of Russian alphabet. They will be a soft sign, hot sign, and the letter U. And um, starting with the next lesson, we are going to take a look at capitalized letters. But let's first finish this one. And we begin with the soft sign. So as you remember, I always first draw the header and bez line, so they will help us to keep all our letters in one row. And I draw the main slant angle lines so that we can keep all our letters in angle. So soft sign. Um, how I write the soft sign, it's practically kind of number six, almost number six. So what I'm doing, I start on the, from the top. I start with kind of small curve, kind of a small hook, and then I finish it with an oval, with a circle, so something like that. So it's not difficult at all, just practice a little bit. Look, once again, we start from the top and that. Again, we start and then we finish it with uh, uh, this oval. Okay, so pause my video, practice with soft sign, and then we will see how do we use it in words. And you know, guys, you remember that soft sign is very important. It may dramatically change the meaning of any of many words in Russian language, but first practice, practice okay? Okay, let's take a look how the soft sign will change the words. So you remember this word male. We wrote this word, we used this word in lesson five, and male means piece of chalk. Look, I will change dramatically the meaning of this word. What I'm going to do, I will finish the same word by using with the uh, soft sign. And now I do not have male anymore, I have male. So now my L is not so hard, it's a soft L. Compare again, mel, mel. So mel is a spot in river or in ocean, in sea, when the bottom is not so very low, so it's very high. So the ship can have problem, may have problem to be stuck there. So we, we say it, we call it in English shallow. So mel, mel, this is the Russian word. How do we write it? We start with M from lesson two, then we use A from lesson five. You see, I connected them together, kind of loop. Now we use L, and then we write our soft sign at the end, Mel. So now pause my video and please practice. Practice with this word. What is very important, please pronounce it correctly. Do not say Mel, say Mel. L, soft sign at the end, okay? When you practice enough, go back to my video, click on play again, and we will take a look at another letters. Hot sign. Hot sign is not so frequently used in Russian language, but still it's very important and we have to be able to know how to write it. So what is a hot sign? Hot sign is a soft sign with kind of dash above, you know, kind of comma dot on the top. And I mean, I recommend you guys, when you write a hot sign, start with this dash on the top. Look how I'm, I'm doing this. First, I draw my dash on the top, and then I finish it with the soft sign. Now it's not soft sign, it's hard sign. You remember, guys, soft sign and hard sign, they do not have sounds at all. Eh? We cannot pronounce them. So once again, dash, and then like that. Okay, pause my video in practice with this. After that, I will show you how can a hard sign change the meaning of a word in Russian language. Look, what I'm going to do, I will change this word. This word means cell, hard L at the end, cell. Cell means 
he, she, or me, I sit down. It's from the verb sadica, to sit down, sell. Okay, now look, I will change this word. And from sell, I will create sell. Now look, now my hot sign will give me opportunity to have kind of break in the middle of the word, sell, sell. So we pronounce it very quickly, very smoothly, and then sell. Sell is a perfective form from the verb to eat. So practically what I'm saying now, I ate something, or he or she ate something. Sell, not she, he. On sell, ya sell. So it's past, simple past form, perfective form of the verb to eat. Sell, sell. Okay, let's take a look how do we write it. So we start with s, and then I will finish the s with very big connector, like that. Why I wrote such a big um, stroke? Because I want to connect my heart sign. You see, with my dash, and then I finish it. This is now the heart sign. Now I have to connect to this heart sign my loop, a. So how I do it? I connect my A like that, CL. And only what I need to do now, finish with L, CL. Okay, pause my video and practice with this. Okay, try to increase your speed with the time and always pronounce it loudly, CL, CL. Good. After you, when you finish, go back to my video and we will take a look at a letter U. I know, guys, it's a very difficult, difficult sound. I explain my students, you know, imagine that you're a hungry bear and you say like, you know, it's very important. It's not E, it's kind of so practice with this sound because it will change. It can change words dramatically, you know, and let's take a look how to write it. It's not difficult to write at all. Of course, it's a compound letter. So we start with soft sign. You know how to write soft sign. Now I draw very small connect, connector and I finish with right side hook. That's it. We use this hook before many, many times. So once again, soft sign, connector, hook. And once again, soft sign, connector, hook. Stop my video. So pause my video and practice with this letter and always say it loudly ooh, ooh. it's not e it's not like english e it's really something kind of ooh sound you know very deep imagine you are bare okay practice with this and then you can go back to my video and we will take a look how do you write it in words Okay, first what I would like to write is the word tu. Tu means informal you, you my friend. So we use tu only for one our friend, the person we address, we speak using uh, the first name, tu. So you my friend. First we have to write t. Do you remember guys? Russian t is like that. Yeah, This is Russian t, okay? And then we connect to this t, our U. Soft sign, connector, hook. T. T. Keep in mind the first letter is not M. If it would be M, we will, would have another word. And actually, let's practice with this word as well. M. So T, you remember, means you, my friends, only one person, singular, informal. M means us, we. We all together, many me practically. M, Keep in mind, if you would pronounce this as me, it would not be M. It will, would not be us. It would be a uh, name of the note, Do, Re, Mi. Ne? You have really to say M. And we write it very easily. We write first M, and then we finish with U. M. Okay, now practice, please practice with such with these letters. Okay, and always repeat loudly. Me, me.
Okay, let's see how do we use the U letter in the middle of a word. So I pick this word, Lizzy. Lizzy means a pair of keys, keys. So this one. So how do we write it? We start with L, L from lesson number two. Then we connect U. It's easy to connect U. Then we write J. Uh, je was introduced, I think, in lesson number seven. Je. And we finish with E. Liji. Liji. So you remember, guys, when I introduced je, I showed you different styles, different option how to write this letter. Probably you choose another option. So try to practice with your j as well, okay? But please, Praxis writing this U in the middle of the uh, of the um, word as well. And when you finish, you may go to the, my next lesson. Starting with the next lesson, we are going to analyze capitalized letters in Russian language. Okay, bye bye.